this is the T Dagger Bermuda keyboard. It's mechanical. Here's the model number T TGK three one two BL. BL stands for blue and also for blue backlight. And here's the consumption. It's like one watt made in China. So I just took off all the keys because it's time for a cleaning as it was used in a very, very dusty room. Yeah. And what I realized is, first of all, it's not uh, water resistant, not spill resistant. Because here under the space bar, there's room for the liquids to get in and go straight to the circuit board. And also at the bigger buttons, there's space to get in and around all the <laughs> switches. Yeah, there may be a chance it won't get in if it's just a tiny spill, but uh, yeah, it basically will get in. So I want to take it apart and see what's inside, maybe put in some rubber padding uh, to make it more silent and of course clean it. So there are these tiny little screws, they are holding it together, one here, 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 you can see that it's in the numpad, so here, 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 and here, oh yeah, and one here, here, so let's find out what's inside. I didn't open this before, this is the first time, hopefully I won't ruin it because I already <laughs> took apart the mechanical keyboard, my other one, and that is uh, still undergoing surgery to become wireless. I'll let you know if I <laughs> had any success. Okay. Uh, here in the middle, yes. All uh, plastic screws, not in any metallic stuff. As you can see. Focus. So they are all like this, plastic screws. They simplified it a lot. In my other mechanical keyboard there were at least four types of screws. Different lengths and uh, different uh, shapes also. Some Torx, some Phillips head. Kind of confusing. It's always best to use one, one type of screw to simplify things. It's easier for the manufacturer and of also for the end user if you want to take it apart or something you won't mix them up if they are all the same inserting a big screw in a small hole or vice versa yeah one more I think and let me look over because to see if anything else may be holding it together that's gone that's gone 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 okay so I just lift it out what happens here no it's all it also snaps so I use my nails or something and pry it open Or a screwdriver, I don't care about how it looks. If I leave scratches, okay, it's coming, it's coming. So there are these big 
clips. Probably I broke a few, but uh, I don't care. And it's coming apart nicely. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is good. So the back is just a big piece of plastic. And uh, there are these two uh, transparent things for the RGB lighting. It has RGB on the sides, not for the buttons, just for the two sides over here too. So yeah, that's interesting. And <laughs> nothing, nothing else. Okay, let's put this away. And let's see. So... Uh, yeah, this looks like, looks very simple. So here are the RGB LEDs, these ones. They can light up in any color. As they have more legs, so it switches the legs and also the voltages and the combination. Yes, I mean, kind of nice. They are soldered a lot better. I mean, the switches are a really nice soldering. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, and it's a small integrated circuit here. On my other keyboard, I had a separate circuit board on here which is more or less removable. It was soldered, but on a different uh, circuit board. Hmm. Oh yeah. So there's nothing to do here, I think. Just clean it up. And... Uh, yeah. How is this held together? If I focus, maybe, there are no more screws anywhere. So only the switches are holding this uh, circuit board. And that means that if I want to make it more silent, I'd have to isolate this from the back. Let's see. I will put on a few screws. And put it on something soft. Let me see what soft thing. Oh, the space bar is the loudest. I put put this on temporarily, of course, because I also have to clean it. Yep, it's loud, but not as loud as it was before with the plastic back on. Uh, something soft. Oh, I have a mouse pad somewhere. Just a second. Don't fall. Hey, I said don't. So, here's a nice mouse pad. And the middle is bowing, so I have to put it in the middle mostly. of nice it's a lot better than with the bottom on hmm let's put on some buttons here it doesn't matter which one goes where I just put it on to simulate some typing Oh yeah, it's still loud. Let me put on the bottom. Oh yeah, it adds a lot. Yeah. So this, I can't make it any more silent. The other one, 
if I as I took off the circuit board this one got a lot more silent I mean let me turn it over and if I hold it in the air or otherwise uh, isolate it it's very quiet I mean it's blue switches the switches can be heard but the whole thing doesn't resonate like this this uh, this is quite loud but I may keep the bottom off it's a lot better this way I won't put back the bottom I'll mount some uh, rubber legs rubber feet and uh, I'll see how it goes I really hate that why do they make it more loud that makes no sense and then they try to correct it by putting rubber uh, rings around the key switch so the key cap doesn't bump into the this transparent plastic thing <laughs> Why do they do it? When they have an obvious solution. First of all, the switches shouldn't be mounted directly to the circuit board. There should be flexible wires going to the switch. Yeah, that would be best. And, uh, yeah, and this top material in which the switches uh, snap in that should be softer how to achieve it that's a good question because this is the cheapest way to do it to do it loud to make it flexible hmm, I don't know how they could do it because they also have to mount all the LEDs here, the backlight. Oh boy, it's so bent. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Let me put something uh, straight there. So here's the circuit board of the other keyboard. And look at that. If I put it right next to it, straight, wee 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 wee. <laughs> this really sucks. I don't know how it got bent, and I don't know how to straighten it, but it sucks. So yeah, this is how you take it apart. And I'll have to find a solution to make it silent. Probably I mount right on the circuit board. I mount some uh, thicker rubber feet. And that will be it. It will stay on the desk protected. It doesn't bother anybody. You don't need the bottom half. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Then it will be a lot quieter. I like the clicks. The clicks are satisfying, but the resonance when the switch comes back and doom, the whole keyboard shakes. That's that's very bad. I hate it. So, yeah. Ideally, this would all be mounted in rubber somehow, and this big, uh, hard uh, glass circuit board adds to the problem. It could be made of something else. I'm not sure what, but something flexible. Something flexible would be better. Hmm. Yeah, I'll Google it or something, but I doubt anybody came up with a good solution. Everybody is just putting rubber rings around here, and that's it. 
I saw some people put the uh, rubber under the switch. They desolder it and elevate it a bit and put some rubber under it. But uh, that's not really ideal. Uh, yeah. So that's it for now. Let me clean it and put back the keys.